What's up? Welcome to Six Days. I am Bob Six. I may have to do this in two different segments, so just in case, this is part one of potentially two. I got inspired to do this because I have it happen all the time, but specifically I had a couple of people this week saying how they wish they could be more honest and out there like I am. Uh, that's not really true. A lot of people think I'm an asshole because I'm brutally honest and they don't like that. Most people want you to lie to them. A lot of people say, just be honest with me. But that's because they have a preconceived notion of what you're going to say. You never know what I'm going to say. <clears throat> well, those of you who know me really well know in certain situations. But <clears throat> fortunately for me, I learned early in life that I didn't want to be one of the cool kids because those are some phony fuckers stab you in the back in a heartbeat <clears throat> just to try to look cool in front of other phony fuckers. Um, I learned a lot of lessons early that helped me mold me into who I am. Uh, I don't mind being in an uncomfortable situations because it helps you grow. As I posted on Facebook the other day, that I'm assuming of my 13 subscribers, most of you probably follow me on Facebook and have seen it. Uh, you can't grow as a person if you never step outside your comfort zone. I know a lot of people, I'm going to word it that way on purpose. I know a lot of people that say, well, I'm this and I'm that and I do this and I do that. Yes, within that little box that you keep yourself in, you are all those things. But as soon as you're brought outside of that box or pushed outside of it by someone like me, you fucking crumble. A lot of people that try to save face or maintain their standard or status feel that they can just, well, I'll just quit talking to them and that'll make everything better. No, you're still a rude dick or dickette, whichever the case. To just stop talking to somebody because they made you uncomfortable, that's silly. Or they made you mad. I had that happen not too long ago. As grown-ups, and I got so many things going through my head right now trying to say and trying not to forget to say, so this may jump around a lot, so just hang on. Also, that's why you can rewind it and listen again. Uh, got my argument, and some of it could have been stress from my part, stress from the other person's part, but we were friends. And apparently we're not friends now. They haven't unfriended me on Facebook, but they literally don't speak to me at all. Over a situation, that's not what grown-ups do. You get mad, you have a fight. I've had fist fights with friends. Real friends. Had fist fights with them. When it was over, we were still friends. Sometimes it takes a day or two for them to get over it. But it happens. We're human beings. We have different range of emotions and shit happens. So to just stop talking to somebody because they made you feel uncomfortable or they made you mad or they made you sad or they hurt your feelings. Fucking rude and childish. I'm constantly pushing my boundaries. I like to be in uncomfortable situations because it helps me. So if I'm in the situation again, if I handle it wrong the first time, I handle it better the next time. I got distracted a few minutes ago. Like I said, I got all these thoughts. So, And I would really like to do this in one video, but may not be able to. A lot of people say they like to be more like me, honest and accept who I am and comfortable with who I am and get out there and push limits and be able to have conversations about death or sex or theft or murder or whatever the fuck. I'm comfortable talking about all those things <clears throat> but a lot of the people that say they wish they were that way, they don't. You know, a lot of people say they want to go skydiving right up until it's time to jump out of the plane. I have a lot of people that try to have conversations with me. And, I mean, I don't judge, and I don't run around telling people everything that I've been told. Uh, I've had friends confess to trying to kill people, siblings, friends, um, uh, a true thing, my best friend growing up, 
I have two best friends, and I'm going to discuss both of them because they're huge parts in the reason I'm the way I am. <clears throat> or part of the, yeah, they're huge parts of the reason. Growing up, I knew Jeff was gay. From the time I was 12 years old, I knew. But I didn't care. He didn't judge me. He didn't try to do anything to me. He was my best fucking friend, and I could totally be myself. And he didn't judge me. I, uh, me and his mother had had a conversation one time, and she asked me if I knew, and I said, yeah, I always knew. And she said, then why did you always tell people he wasn't? Because it's not my place to say. That's not something you drag somebody out of the closet for. Now, he never came out and told me. But as his best friend, he had to know that I knew. But it, that's not what our friendship was based on. My other best friend is a guy named Chris. And I'm not saying their last names because this is YouTube and what, whatever. But Chris, who was not gay, straight. We're still friends to this day. He was my other ultimate best friend, and that's because I could totally be me, and it's cool, no matter what. It's cool. Me and Chris, just like when I was with Jeff, literally spent the majority of our lives together doing shit, having a good time, never once having to worry, well, what did they think about this or what did they think about that? So having friends that I'm that comfortable with made me choose friends accordingly. They said they, they are the standard for how I judge my friends to this very day. <clears throat> I also learned early in life that it's much better to be friends with the outcasts, the people who are different, who think differently, or they're just not quite what society thinks is right. Because they are more loyal, more real, and you can be yourself. And, and I'm not advocating being phony, but we all have three personalities. Everybody, no matter if you want to admit it or not, myself included. We have the one that the general public sees. We have the personality that our friends and relatives know. And then we have the person that we really are alone. And I'm pretty much exactly the same all the time. There are some things that I know are socially not acceptable and it's not that I give a fuck what anybody thinks. I just don't feel like listening to it. You get tired of people over and over. Oh my God. Like the fact that I don't believe in God freaks a lot of people out. My second wife almost divorced me over that. She was shook to her core. It is what it is. It doesn't change who I am. Another reason I'm the way I am is as I evolve into the person that I want to be, which I'm still continuing to do, but as I've gotten older and other people are catching up as far as getting comfortable in who they are, you know, I discovered masturbation at 14, but all my friends said that you were gay if you masturbated, which we didn't really talk about it a whole lot in the eighties. But when I discovered it, that was the fucking greatest thing since ice cream couldn't do it enough. Well, <laughs> yes, I could. <laughs> but anyways, as I got older, I found out most of my friends were masturbating too, but they didn't want to tell anybody. So you've had this awkward feeling like, you know, fuck, this is so cool or cool. What, however you want, whatever you want to call it. Um, but nobody talked about it. So it's kind of, Oh, ah, I got this secret. The first time I openly admitted it, or said it out loud, the response, which I thought was kind of funny, people were kind of stunned because people still really didn't openly talk about it. Now I don't give a shit. I've actually, I can't say 100% lost, but someone who's been a friend since I was 17 years old, here a while back watched one of my stand-up routines and saw some of the masturbation jokes. And because they don't, one of only two people that I actually know who genuinely do not do that was upset. And even though she said it wasn't trying to lecture or 
be preachy, it was. And we haven't spoken since. What do you care? If you don't like it, I mean, I don't judge you because you believe in God. And you shouldn't be judging me because I don't, even though I know a lot of you do. We're all humans. We're all different. You have to learn to accept people for what they are. Now, there are three things I make no bones about that I do not accept. I do not accept anyone who has raped a person. Or, you shouldn't be doing it to animals either, but that is one of the most foul, fucking disgusting things you can do to another human being. That's fucking sick, so I cannot get past that. I cannot get past people who molest or physically abuse children. There is no, if you've done those things, don't fucking tell me. Especially with children, I will probably knock your fucking teeth out. That's unacceptable. I can't get past that. And the third thing is people who abuse animals, especially their pets. I have zero tolerance for any of those things. So those are the three things that I can't get past. Past that, anything else, I've never been told something I couldn't handle. And the reason is I don't get emotionally involved in a lot of things as far as you're telling me something, you trust me, you've got something on your mind that you want to say, and you're looking sometimes just to get it off your chest. And you need someone, another person, a human being to say it to and see that you're going to be okay. I'm not here to judge you. Now, if you ask my opinion, I'll give you my opinion. But if you're happy and you're not doing any of those three things, there's no problem. People need to build self-confidence. Be happy with who you are. I accept everything about me, the good and the bad, and the things that I feel I need to change, I work on changing. Which is why I do the things I do, pushing my boundaries as far as a human being, accepting other things, exposing myself to people telling me things or having conversations like um, awkward conversations as far as like people confessing why well, I've done this or I've done that because it helps me grow as a person. But those of you that stay in that little box, you're not growing. Yes, you're spectacular in that little box, but you're not being real. That's where the problem comes in. Because when the chips are down, your, your phoniness is going to come out. So those people that judge me, ironically, I don't give a shit. I don't waste my time trying to make someone who doesn't like me, like me. I have people who actually like me. And once you get acclimated to me, I guess I'm kind of like a mold, I kind of grow on you. But once you get acclimated to me, most people find it refreshing that I'm not going to judge you. You, you can say whatever you want to say. You can be whatever you want to be. You can listen to whatever kind of music you listen to or you find something funny. There's just so much. So to expose yourself to so many different kinds of people will make you a better person. Uh, like I said, so many thoughts. And I know I said I'll probably lose some friends over these and probably piss some people off. That's fine. Whenever I say you should be this way, that's my opinion. That doesn't mean you should be this way. I'm not in control of you. I'm giving you my side, how I feel. Just like I offer everybody to give me their side. Tell me how they feel. If you don't like something about me, feel free to tell me. I don't care. It's good to know how you feel about it. But most people can't even be honest. Instead of fucking telling you no, like, hey, I'm going to spend the afternoon out in 100 degree plus weather picking up dog shit and we don't have a show so I'm going to have to use my hand. Could you help me? Oh, hey, I'll try to be there, but you know, Say no. God damn it, if you ain't willing to help, say no. So many people are afraid to say no these days. Instead of saying no, which is the polite thing to do if you don't want to do something, they'll tell you yes and then not do it. Some of them don't even have the decency to tell you a lie about why they couldn't do it. 
I think I'm one of the few people that if I tell you I'm going to do something and I don't do it, or if I'm going to come help you do something, or I'm going to be somewhere and I can't do it, that I genuinely feel bad. Genuinely, which is why 98% of the time I say I'm going to try to make it just in case something comes up. If I've committed and something comes up that is unavoidable and I cannot not do, I feel like such a piece of shit when I have to t call you and tell you I can't do it. I, I genuinely feel that way. But I know so many people who just, huh, like with my pens. I haven't had it happen in a while, but... Uh, not seriously happen. I have people jokingly say shit all the time, but I've actually had people, friends, contact me about my pens, and then when I go through all the, put in all the effort of trying to find the perfect pen for them, when they find out what it's going to cost, even though it's at an extremely discounted price, because I give most of my friends my family discount. The, which is the discount I give my family, which ironically, most of my family pays full price because they know what I what kind of effort goes into what I'm doing. But even offering them that discount, I think, off the top of my head, I can think of seven, there may be more, that instead of responding, oh, that's too much, or... I'll have to think about it and get back to you. Some sort of closure, they just never bring it up again. That's fucking chicken shit. The fact that you wanted me to give you a pen for free, that's chicken shit. I don't get the stuff for free. I have to pay for it in advance. So, I'm going to say because of all the, the thoughts, I will have to do this in two parts. So... I'm going to stop it now because I'm coming up on 18 minutes already. If you got some input, this is your chance to step outside of your comfort zone. If you don't like anything I've said, say so. Be a grown-up. Say, well, I disagree with you. That doesn't mean I'm going to change my mind, and I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm giving you my side and how I say things. So, I do appreciate the 13 of you that have subscribed and been subscribed. I really could use some more, so hit that subscribe button. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you hate it, give it a thumbs down. If you feel like telling me I'm full of shit, feel free to tell me I'm full of shit, because I promise you, if you told me something I thought you were full of shit, I'd fucking tell you. But I'm not a chicken shit. So, hope you like this. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and I'll see y'all for part two next time. Peace.